Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski for Simon Says Stamp, and in today's five ways in five days, I get to share five tips for bringing the boo. That's right, this is all about Halloween, so let's get into the tips. First thing we're gonna do to get our boo on is get some spooky colors of ink. Now, the classic Halloween triad, right? It's green, purple, and orange. And I have more oranges as well, but you wanna start out with some spooky inks, okay? So any grays, greens, purples, purplish, you wanna pull them out because those are the colors of Halloween. Why do these work so well together? They create a triadic relationship on the color wheel for maximum contrast and, well, spooky goodness. So start out, number one, with your Halloween palette. Number two, we're gonna make some spooky backgrounds. Starting out with some white cardstock, and I'm just gonna use Nina Solar White Classic Crest for all of these. And I'm gonna work my way in. So I'm gonna go on the outside here with charcoal. And I'm just gonna, and I've got this held in place with a grip mat, but I'm gonna go around the edges. And I might have to move that a little because I'm gonna need to get my hand over here. We're just starting with a little on the outside, right? A little darkness on the outside, a little good spooky, and you build up as you go. That is background number one. I'm gonna set this aside, and we're gonna move on to making another spooky background. For the next background, I'm gonna take CZ Design, that's me, Creepy Crawlers. I'm gonna pop down my cute little spiders right inside my Misty, and I'm gonna stamp on a panel of smoke cardstock. Okay, so we're already, we're already getting some spooky gray in here, and that will be the basis for the next panel. Okay. Pick it up, and all we're gonna do is take our VersaFine Claire, and ink up the spiders really well. I am gonna trim this panel down so I know I don't need to have all the spiders. Get nice and inky and transfer. One more time. And again, don't worry about the extra edges because this is gonna get trimmed. Down and transfer. Now take this off. I'll set this aside and clean it in a second. And we'll throw on some powder that will stick, and this is the Simon Says Stamp Clear. It will stick to what we stamped so I can emboss this and seal that color in. And we we'll just let it slide off. And now they get a little, they get a little cloudy looking. But we're gonna bring that all back. Right, now we have some nice little shiny spiders and we'll ink blend on this panel. Then we'll come in and the nice thing I like about the grip mat, it actually kind of keeps your, your piece flat, but now we can bring in a little color onto our cardstock. Kind of deepen it up here and the spiders will resist. I'm gonna go around. Just enough to darken the edges. Give it that glowy look. Love it. And just circle it like that. All right. Spooky indeed. And just for a little, little extra on this one, I'm gonna smush down a little black ink here. This is just a little cube that I have of some Gina K Designs ink. Get that wet. Get this wet, go like this, and just splatter on a little black ink splatter. Splatter always makes everything spookier. Even though this isn't very dark, it's just a little extra texture. You can keep going 
for as much as you need. So that's another tip for you. Splatter equals spooky. Okay, moving on. For the next background, I'm going to take two stencils. Now here's the thing with your stencils. Sometimes you're going to have a stencil. Let's say we're going to use, eh, I think I'm going to go with this little opening right here. Okay. I'm going to pop this down right about in the center of the panel, right? Now look for stencils in your collection that can read Halloween, even if they're not overtly Halloween. Here I have the Simon Says Stamp Dimensional Stars. And I don't know about you, but I think stars are pretty Halloween-y. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take one at a time. We're going to line it up right on this stencil. Now you will need a little extra tape, something to hold that into place, but it should be fine. And now we are going to do three stencils and do the Halloween triad. So we're going to start here with our orange, which is the cantaloupe. Tap a little off here. And this one I'm going for something a little cuter, like a little, little less spooky. And I think sometimes when you get into this triad, it gets a little playful, maybe even a little more childlike, but I love it. So, well, that one's not even Matt going in there. So we're just going to get our stars where we can. Let's wait. Blend that into place. And I think I'm going to add one more little star here. It's going to go like that. There we go. We'll just hold that. And keep that up like that. All right. And this, you can just add in a little bit extra as you need. But now we have this cute little panel just floating in the middle. We're going to put that to use as well. So now we have our three spooky backgrounds and it's time to turn each one into a card. The next spooky thing you can do, silhouette stamping. Now I happen to have the most fun Halloween set ever called Witch Please. However, you can do this with any silhouette that you have, any silhouette shape. It just gets spooky when you have silhouette. If you take Halloween colors and stamp a forest over it, boom, you have a Halloween forest. So silhouettes can add a total spooky vibe. And I'm just gonna, oh, I, I think, I think we have to stamp her right in the center. When you are silhouetting, and I'm gonna put this right back down to my paper, you wanna make sure you're using a nice inky ink. And I have, again, the VersaFine Claire, and I'm gonna use it. I'm going to have to let this dry because I don't really think I want to heat emboss this like I did the spiders. I just want to make a nice inky witch. So let's transfer that ink. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to stamp it one more time, even though it barely needs it. And again, my grip mat that's in here is holding everything into place. And now I'm going to let that dry completely before I move on to the greeting. For my greeting on this card, I am going to stamp both You're My Ride or Die and Hey Witch. So I'm going to do both of these at the same time on Simon Says Stamp Black cardstock, which is my favorite black. It's a very dark cardstock. And that way we can emboss these in gold. I'm going to powder up with the anti-static powder just so that my embossing powder only sticks to where I stamp and I'm going to be using ultra fine gold. There's another tip. Gold is a very Halloween-y color and I love gold and I love to stamp gold on black. I think it's such a cool look. Now I don't want to press too hard on the Hey Witch because I just need enough and I think that's going to be great. Now I just have to melt that powder. All right. 
got my sentiments ready to cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and die cut my little greetings here. And I just thought it'd be fun to cut it out on my baby trimmer. Run that through. Like that. And that's greeting one. And then I'm also going to cut out the Hey Witch off camera using one of my Simon Says Stamp sentiment label dies. I'm gonna trim this down a little and it might need a little more ink blending over here because I wanted the witch to be centered and I don't want the broom off the page. So I'm off the page, I'm gonna cut this out and then I might add a little more blending to the outside to sort of darken it up on the edges. Once you have a crop, sometimes you have to come in and I kind of like how that's a little off centered with her flying into the night. And remember, spatter is spooky, so I cut a little mask, a little acetate here, because I don't, I don't want, I don't mind if a little gets on her broomstick, but I kind of want to cover her up a bit. And I'm just going to shake up this uh, Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment. It's a great little spatter thing, and any any kind of pigment like this would work. Just put a little on a Simon Says Stamp block and get a brush. I've got my fan brush. I'm gonna wet it down just a little bit, pick up some of that pigment. I always test a little first because it's gonna come out really, really heavy. And then we're just gonna spatter on some gold, shimmer all the way around. Oh, love it. All right, there we go and she is protected in the middle. Love it. I'm gonna score a note card at five and a half inches. And this also is the same Simon Says Stamp black card stock. Fold that down, and then I will actually press with my Teflon bone folder. And give that a nice press, like that. Now, let me get some foam tape on the back of my panel and we can add our greetings. I've got some of the Simon Says Stamp Big Mama Tape Roll on the back here so that I can pop this up with just a little dimension. Got nice framing margin space. Ooh, look at how inky that and it picks up. Oh, I tell you, Halloween, I don't know, there's something about it. Here's another cool thing, check this out. I like the idea of a little tilt up here, hey witch, and down here, you know, you're my ride or die. But here's the kind of fun thing. I have the Simon Says Stamp foam squares that are black. So, you know, even, even the foam is gonna be spooky. And we like that, we like that. All right, I'm gonna take a little liquid glue, however. Put just a dollop here, here, and here. I'm gonna bring in my Simon Says Stamp T-square because this does help me to place things down where exactly where I want them to be. Now I don't mind if a little bit of her uh, broomstick gets covered up here because I want the greeting to be nice and close. So you are my ride or die. Line that up and then we'll add this at the top. So again, the spooky things happening here. We've got silhouette stamping. We've got spatter. We've got Halloween colors. And then we've got kind of a fun, cheeky little stamp set. Hey, witch, you're my ride or die. You could send that to any one of your besties, but look at how cool it is with that spatter, that spooky spatter. All right, one card done. Let's move on. For the second card, I mounted this little, little friend that I trimmed down with foam tape right onto another black note card. And then I didn't have the orange that I wanted in cardstock, so I just ink blended a tiny little bit of cantaloupe. And I've used my CZ Design Batty Die. I love this die, because it's, you know, it's cute spooky, right? This is not like, you know, it's not the scariest thing you're ever gonna see. But I've got a couple layers here, and I'm just gonna put the smallest amount of, just put the smallest <laughs> amount of, see spooky things are happening in here. And we're just gonna place a little bit of orange eyes because he can't you know he's gotta he's gotta look a little spooky it's gotta be a glow there so that is going right in there oh come on now get in there like that press that down and then i'm gonna stick one more layer over the top here to give him just a little more dimension and actually i think i'll just put the glue on here so just little dots all the way around 
And we're going to glue him right on top and then just wiggle him into place. So, so we've got a little dimension and we've got his little bitty eyes looking off into the distance. So now I'm going to pop him up here and then I'm going to take a greeting from the reverse witch please because there's lots in here that are all pretty cute and I actually think I might do Halloween is my jam or Halloween forever or spook. There's just, you know, pick, pick the one you like. I love all of them. So let me cut one out and we'll finish this card. Here's another spooky tip for you. If you use sentiment strips, they are printed on white cardstock, but if you want them to look like they are on black cardstock, and that is if you're using the reverse style, just take a marker. I love this Copic T10 because it dries right away and it makes everything look like it's black solid core cardstock. So I'm gonna do that on both of these because I haven't figured out which one I wanna use yet, but I am loving it. I'm loving it. And so coloring the sides of your sentiment strips, definitely spooky, definitely brings the boo. All right, I'm pretty sure this is what I wanna do. I think this is really cute. So let's take the backers off Halloween forever. Cause I'm hip, I'm hip like that. I, I, I'm hip with what the kids are saying, but you know, Halloween, it makes me feel like a kid. It's my favorite holiday. Haven't even talked about that yet. One of the reasons why it's a silly holiday, you don't have to worry about buying gifts for people unless you're a Halloween freak like me. <laughs> you want to send people cards and oh my goodness, so many things, but it's just, it's just a silly day. It's a silly day. You get to wear a costume if you so choose. You know, it's just like, how, how, what's not to like about that? Now, I'm going to have him come up a little more. So he's clearing, he's clearing those guys. But this I want to be straight and just right there in the center, right? Like right over the two lines. And then I'm going to bring this in real quick just to make sure that's straight. And that looks great. Halloween forever. <laughs> also, this just adds a much needed pop of white to the card. Now this is very monochromatic and that's another thing you can do for a spooky card, right? If you're gonna bring the boo, you can do a card in all blacks and grays, right? Get your, start with the base of the color that you want to use. Here I use the smoke cardstock and just do the little ink blend around. Of course, spatter is spooky. We, we, we know this, we've accomplished this. And now I'm not gonna use glue on this cause I'm pretty sure I won't screw this up. He's gonna angle from side to side like that. <laughs> Love it. Now there's one more thing I could do that would be kind of fun. And that is to put some shine inside of his eyes. So let me see if I can find some sort of glaze to put in there. I do have some to fill in. I don't know. Well, I guess I could be kind of, let me get a little stick here so I can, a stick, my little wand. Uh, let's see if I can just carefully put a little in to the opening like that. And then I'm just gonna stir it in like that. You don't need much. You don't need much. And when it dries, he'll be shiny as new. Okay, a little bit there. And then I'm just gonna drag it up like that. So right now it might not look like much, but he is going to be a bubbling, a bubbling shiny eyed fiend. Get in there. But once this is dry and clear, it'll give us these nice shiny little eyes. So. You don't have to do that. It's just an extra step. I'm going to get some more of it off though. And that's the finished card. Oh, so fun. All right, we'll finish one more out. To finish this card off, I trimmed a little panel of Simon Says Stamp Green Apple to be just a little bit smaller than this panel. Then I used my CZ design. This is the trick or treat die. There is a shadow layer, but I just wanted to have the trick or treat. And I cut it out of some Simon Says Stamp glitter cardstock. Love this stuff because, well, it's glittery and nothing comes off. So this is the general design of the panel. But then I also thought I would ink blend a few areas here on some cardstock 
or this is the or this is the thing you can if you don't have something that matches especially in this classic halloween triadic color just ink blend your own little swatches and then again take a product that isn't necessarily halloween this is the simon says stamp mini stars and then just cut yourself some stars out because i'm just going to fill in just a few little ones and i don't know yet if i'm going to do them in this glitter cardstock or this so let me cut those out real quick and we'll start assembling the card with the ones that work best. I've cut all the stars out and I actually think having that little extra pop of the glitter gold is going to be the way to go. So let's let's assemble this and I also have the little dot to the eye, the little tittle is up here. So I'm going to push my stars away here, clean up my space, and I think I'm going to just slide these off. And I'm just going to put a little liquid glue on this panel. Then I'm just going to line this up right on the, this little matte layer of the green apple. So that's very subtle. See that? I love that. Let me get some foam tape added to this and prep my note card. So that's the arrangement that I think I'm going to go with. But I am actually going to start here with the or because if that is straight then I know the rest of the pieces will be straight so I'm just gonna really quickly uh, let's see here hold that in place get my O let me grab my Simon tweezers and we'll get these added and drop that down see that's why I wanted to have it here so that if I had to move it there, come here. There we go. Now I can just build everything else around here, knowing that these are straight. And press. Go there like that. Yep. Put that brick on to let it in here. And that is my third card, which is really much more of a clean and simple and sort of a cheery little happy card. Isn't that fun? So you've just got stars, which really can be used for anything, but here. We've used them for Halloween. Let's take a look at the finished three cards. Here are the three finished card projects and they definitely all have a spooky vibe, right? But this is sort of a cute fun vibe. Here we've got the nice ink blend and that is a really great tip for any sort of spooky card is just do that outside in ink blend. Whether you start with a piece of cardstock that already had some pigment like this smoke cardstock or you start on white. Silhouettes, always spooky. Die cuts, always spooky. Fun backgrounds and then build up from there. I hope this inspires you as you set out this year to create any fun Halloween card projects. We've got links and information in the YouTube description box. And also, if you're not a subscriber to the Simon Says Stamp channel, we would love to have you. So hit that subscribe button today and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time we post. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kathy Zilski signing out from Halloween Central. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.